Kathy, one broader question and then a specific stock question. When you think, though, about the last year and you think about your approach, what is the lesson in it? Meaning, I know you have a North Star about specifically these, these stocks that you're talking about, but at some level, you have to look around, and I think your investors would want you to look around and say, okay, I was wrong. What was I wrong about? And if I was wrong, how am I going to change my approach in the future? So uh, if uh, we were wrong on one, uh, one thing, and that was inflation uh, being as sustained as it has been. Supply chain, I can't believe it's taken more than two years. And uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, of course, we couldn't have seen that. So inflation has been a bigger problem. But I think uh, that it has set us up for deflation. Uh, I, I've been listening to your program. I heard Ken Langone talk about being in recession now. Jeremy Siegel, same we think we're in a recession and we think a really big problem out there is inventories, the likes of the, the increase uh, uh, of which I've never seen this large in my career. And I've been around for 45 years. Uh, and we're talking about the best managed companies in the world. If you're talking about Walmart and Target, they know how to manage supply chains. So if they have problems, we think there are a lot more problems. And then the other thing that's going on is the consumer is railing against these price increases. Consumer sentiment as measured by the University of Michigan, which we think is the best measure out there, uh, is down to record low levels, below 0809, below 80 and 81. I had just started my career and inflation and interest rates were in the double digits, 15, 20%. And consumer sentiment today is lower than it was back then. And most interestingly, in the last report, Many people think, oh, the, 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 the heavy spenders will, will uh, keep this thing going. Consumer sentiment of the, in the highest income groups is lower than in the, the lowest income.